Today I'm going to be reviewing the iHome IBT29 Alarm Clock. So it's 2015 and we have pretty much every way of making our homes into a technology-filled utopia. Everything from appliances, cleaning utilities, and speakers can be controlled through our phones or computer to make our homes that much more functional. But I personally feel we all have a soft spot for pretty lights. And it's one of the reasons why I decided to review the IBT29. Coming in at $60, the IBT29 is one of the cheaper wireless speakers you will find on the market. Right off the bat, this is quite an interesting design for an alarm clock. The front is a giant light surrounding the front screen. Colors come in a few modes which include a slow fade, a faster fade, single color which you can switch between using the controls on the top, and even a mode where the color is based on the time of day. I'd say it was representative of a sunrise and a sunset, but really it just fades between light and dark blue with some orange in the middle of each. It's still a cool idea. You can change the brightness of the overall unit by hitting the snooze button when it is in color mode. This speaker can connect to devices over Bluetooth or using the 3.5mm auxiliary cable. It can also play FM radio stations. And it also has a USB port to charge your phone or other USB devices. I can tell you right off the bat, as soon as I plugged in this thing, I liked it. I am such a fanboy when it comes to things that light up and the different glow modes on this thing are amazing. Connecting to this speaker was not an issue at all since it has a dedicated Bluetooth mode and I couldn't find any point in my apartment where it seemed to be losing connection. Now, the audio sounds okay for a speaker of this size and price, but listening to it I figured it was designed more as a cool alarm clock first and then a speaker was thrown in as an afterthought. Otherwise, I don't think they would have put the speakers on the back of the device. I feel what would have improved this to the point where it wouldn't even be an issue anymore would be if the iHome included an audio out port on the back of this clock. That way, you could plug in some really nice speakers into this and then just use this as a hub for Bluetooth and connecting your phone or other wireless devices to a larger system of speakers and still have that nice cool centerpiece that lights up and tells you the time. In conclusion, this is not a speaker for audiophiles, but it still makes for a really cool gadget to have in the home. If you're looking for a great home speaker, this is not it. But if you want a really cool looking FM alarm clock that has Bluetooth connectivity and can play music at somewhat of an average quality, pardon my pun, but I give this the green light.